Again, Merry Christmas to everyone. It's so good to have everybody here as, as we um, are able to come and, and celebrate Christmas together. Um, and it's an unusual Christmas, looks a little bit different than it, than it has in years past. But uh, nonetheless, the, the story is the same as uh, Father Ralph uh, mentioned in his homily the other day. Um, that the story is the same being that Jesus comes and, and still is uh, with us. And uh, as I was getting ready for um, Christmas, it occurred to me that there's been a lot of um, emphasis on, on light uh, this year for me, or I, I've taken note of light in, in a different way. Uh, my a friend of mine, who's a classmate from uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, uh, I went to visit him one time, and there he showed me that one of the things he loves to do is to place a candle wherever he is and to light it there. Um, as in, you know, if he's at the rectory having lunch, there's a candle, he'll light the candle. Um, if he's in the office, there'll be a candle there, he'll light the candle there. Um, and for him, this candle and the lighting of it is just a sign of Christ's presence. Uh, so this year, I decided to take up the same, uh, to get a little candle for my office too. And, and remarkably, it's been a, a really amazing thing, uh, much more grace-filled than, than I had expected. Um, just noticing the light so, so easily and readily has been such a great reminder to me of, of Christ's presence with me. Uh, another way in which the light has uh, been more of a focus for me this year um, is the co last couple days, or a couple days ago, we celebrated the winter solstice. Um, and for, the, for me, this year, the winter solstice um, had, had a little bit more meaning behind it. Its, it's um, celebration um, was more um, impactful for, for me. Um, of course, we know what happens on the winter solstice. Uh, when I go down to the schools and I tell the kids about um, this little piece of, uh, on the solstice, I always ask them, you know, what is, what's the solstice? And those of you who are parents um, of kids in the school will be glad to know that all of your students knew what's significant about the winter solstice, that it is the shortest day of the year. Um, then I'd tell them it's 23 hours long, but no, uh, it's actually not that. Um, the daylight is shortest uh, on, the, on the day of the winter solstice. And the church has always seen a great symbol in that. Um, and maybe just this year, I, I kind of taken a little bit more um, focus to it because I have a more outdoor hobby now, um, and the daylight hours are, are so, such a gift. Um, but, but this is the reason that the church sees behind it, and, and the reason also why Christmas is often, well, is celebrated on December 25th. Um, the church has taken on to this meaning of, of the winter solstice. That, at the time of the winter solstice, the daylight is shortest, or in other words, the darkness is the greatest. Um, and into that place is born Christ, the light of the world. And from that time on, um, the daylight increases uh, to the point of the summer solstice, of course. Um, but the church sees the great symbol of that and, and so celebrates Christmas on December 25th that Christ, the light of the world, enters into the world at its darkest place. And from that time on, the light increases. Um, and as we hear in today's gospel, St. John, the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. And those, I think, are especially powerful words for us, um, maybe this day, uh, especially in, in the year of the current context of 2020, right? Um, we see darkness in the world. Uh, the pandemic is, has brought a lot of its own challenges. And... Um, maybe sometimes it, it, help, it um, has thrown away some of the plans that we had, like today for, for Christmas. Maybe it has to look a little bit different than it has in times past. Um, but there's, there's darkness in the world, um, and there's darkness in our own hearts, too. Um, maybe we've been more irritable, or um, we've gotten more angry. Um, what are those darknesses that, that we experience in the world around us and in our hearts? Well, the good news about today, uh, December 25th, uh, Christmas Day, 
is that the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Um, Christ the light comes into the world today. And although the world around us and maybe in our own hearts there's darkness, and it may seem overwhelming, it may seem like how could we ever get out of it, um, what does St. John tell us? The darkness has not overcome the light. Uh, instead, the light conquers the darkness. Uh, and as the light comes into the world to be with us today, his light will increase. It won't be diminished, um, presuming that we just let it, you know? We let Christ come and be into our hearts um, to break, uh, to put away the darkness and, and to bring his light. I was thinking a little bit of a, another sort of image, you know, related to, to all of this, that you know, maybe uh, you could imagine a, a sort of person who's been entrapped, um, people that you hear that have been like buried in rubble uh, or um, buried in an avalanche. You can imagine the um, despairing darkness that's around them in those moments. Um, but how hopeful they would be when the first little um, pebble is removed from the rubble and now they can see the light from the outside. Or the first um, hand reaches down and uh, pulls off the, just a handful of snow. And although the, the light's not so bright at that point, um, there is light and that's hope for them. That means that there's salvation. They are going to be able to get out of this situation. As we think about today, the light of the world, Christ born at Bethlehem, maybe it seems like just a small light, um, just a little baby who's born at Bethlehem. Um, and maybe in our own hearts as we come, maybe there's only a little glimmer of light that, that we can see. Um, but the good news is that the light has come, and from this day forward, the light is going to increase. Um, the light of Christ, Christ the light born into the world, the darkness has not overcome him, and he overcomes the darkness. Uh, so whether it's the darkness in the world that we struggle with or, or the darkness in our own hearts, uh, let Christ, the light born at Bethlehem, uh, even though it be just a small light, give you hope knowing that from this day forward, um, his light will increase uh, for you. And Merry Christmas.